Today in history class, kids are going to be talking about the British Bulldog. Not the dog, it's an airplane. In 1924, Frank Barnwell started work on a fighter plane powered by a Rolls-Royce Falcon engine. Barnwell designed the Bristol Bulldog Type 102 to emulate the F-926 for a day-night fighter. The Type 105, on the other hand, was designed to be slightly smaller and lighter than the Type 102. The 105 later became the prototype version of the plane. The Bulldog was a single bay biplane powered by a supercharged Bristol Jupiter 7 air-cooled radial engine driving a two-bladed propeller. The armor on the plane wasn't very thick, but the two point or the two 7.7 millimeter machine guns had some power and could knock down anything in the sky. But since the armor wasn't thick, you had to be very careful with it. The plane was also quite light, weighing in at only just over 2200 pounds or a thousand kilograms so that's the empty weight the fully loaded weight was just under 3500 pounds or 1590 kilograms the first bulldog took flight on may 17 1927 and had amazing maneuverability and strength due to and strength which raf praised but the poor spin recovery which was later revised by adding an enlarged fin and rudder in the mk2a model made the RAF fall in love. But the Bulldog never saw combat with the Royal Air Force or RAF. Although during the Abyssinian crisis of 1935 and 1936, the Bulldog was sent to Sudan to enforce Middle East, Middle East command. And after years of use in different countries varying from Australia, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Japan, Latvia, Thailand now, Spanish Republic, Sweden, and the UK, and some of the states it was replaced in 1937 by the Gulster Gaul Gauntlet. I just messed up my words, and I've been doing this for an hour, and I'm actually keeping this in. So thank you guys for watching. I will be doing more, and hopefully it will be a lot better. Thank you. Peace.